Welcome back. The Disaster Vulnerability Reduction Project, DVRP, continues to support the island's crisis management plan at all levels. Recently, the DVRP collaborated with the water and sewage company, Wasco, in addressing a perennial problem in the water sector. We've all seen them. Broken pipes, busted main pipes, overflowing drains of fresh water. Precious natural resources wasted. Non-revenue water is water that has been produced and is lost before it reaches the customer. This may be due to illegal connections, misuse of fire hydrant systems, vandalize or bypass consumption meters, corrupt practices of meter readers, and breaks in Wasco's intake and distribution lines. The non-revenue water situation was causing Wasco to lose more water than it supplies to customers. As most people would know that Wasco system is old and aging, you do not know what exactly the demand is. A lot of the non-revenue water figures say we are at 55%. So it's basically saying that you're losing 55% of the water that you're producing. And that's 55, well, it'll be more than 55% of our revenue. Um, if you know what you're producing, which areas the demand are, what's necessary. Because some places we send too much water, some places we don't send enough water. The Disaster Vulnerability Reduction Project aims to measurably reduce vulnerability to natural hazards and climate change impacts in St. Lucia. This includes various activities related to institutional strengthening and training, as well as the execution of several civil works projects to retrofit or protect national assets. The DVRP has responded to Wasco's need for an acute reduction in non-revenue water. 1.1 million EC dollars of funding was provided through the World Bank to procure and install special meters that would allow Wasco to better monitor the supply of water in their distribution system. We have two aspects of the meterization. You have the meterization on the consumer end, the consumption end, and you have the meterization on the distribution end, which includes um, treatment and abstraction. There's some aspects of the, the meterization on the, the treatment and abstraction point where we consume, we burn energy in terms of electricity um, through pumping. And if you abstract water and you pay, to you pay or energy, you consume energy to produce and treat that water, you get um, you need to account for that um, revenue. With the new thrust towards significant reduction in non-revenue water, Wasco has divided its distribution system into a series of smaller subsystems or district metered areas for which non-revenue water can be calculated individually. These smaller district meter areas are hydraulically isolated so that the volume of water within each area can be calculated. These new meters serve one other vital role. This is the chemical room used for the dosage. Uh, these are the two meters that come in on the T off or the split off from the main eight inch line. And you have two meters that each goes to two different separate chambers for treatment. This is a display, display for the each chamber. And the electronic, this is a mag meter which registers the amount of water coming in for treatment. So each meter has a separate display to show the volume coming in for treatment. So we know how much is going in, and then we know how much is treated and what's going out for distribution. Wasco produces approximately 13.6 million gallons of water per day. Of that, 7.4 million gallons were being lost daily thus severely and negatively impacting the company's efficiency and, by extension, the cost of water to the final consumer. With assistance from the Climate Investment Fund, the European Union, the World Bank and the DVRP, the efficient and sustainable supply of high-quality water to commercial, industrial and domestic users at an acceptable pressure with minimal loss through leakages will be a reality for the company with benefits to all households. This $1.1 million investment is also a vivid example of cross-agency collaboration for the achievement of measurable reductions in man-made and natural vulnerabilities.
from the Government Information Service. Rajvaro Lawrence reporting. The Transport Division, Department of Economic Development, Transport and Civil Aviation has been directly impacted by the novel coronavirus COVID-19. In an effort to reduce the risk of further spreading this disease, the public is informed that a deep cleaning exercise has been scheduled at the northern extension of the division located in Union Castries from the 11th to the 15th of January 2021. As a result of this, all in-person services will be suspended during this period. Services remain accessible at the division's southern extension and via DigiGov e-services platform, digigov.govt.lc. The division can also be contacted via 468-4951 or email address transport at govt.lc.